Hello guys, how are you doing today? Hope everyone is doing great. I am very, very excited today. I, I don't know if you guys understand how excited I am, but I get to finally play my Skyblock. This is the Skyblock map that I started making, I would say about five or six months ago. It was a while ago, guys. This was one of my very first projects I ever made as a map. And it started out as I just wanted a basic sky block. I wanted to start making a sky block, you know. I wanted my own sky block. And it grew, guys. It just kept growing and it kept growing and it kept growing until we were left with this. Welcome to my sky block. It's the sky block I designed for everybody. Whether you're a professional Skyblock player, whether you're a brand new player, whether you want to play for a few days, whether you want to play for a month or two, whether you want to play for an entire year on a Skyblock, whatever you guys want to do with your Skyblock, I promise you, this Skyblock is for you. Okay, I'm going to start off with some very key points for the Skyblock. I'm going to also include these into a world tour video that we will be doing here shortly probably but I'm gonna let you guys know if you're watching right now and you want to play this game a few things you should pay attention to number one here's the creeper defense system you can either turn this off or on destroys blocks on this means creepers are going to destroy blocks if this is on destroy blocks off means creepers will not destroy blocks I love this option. We are turning this option on. This is my favorite thing and this is probably the only cheat I'm going to use in the game whatsoever. I hate creepers blowing things up. It's not fair whatsoever. Custom mob drops. This will turn on, I believe, 15 or 16 different custom mob drops. Um, all the mobs will still have their normal drops, but they will have a chance to drop other things as well. So there are 9, 10, 11, 12, 16. Okay. So 16 custom drops right here. This book is also included on the main island, so don't worry about that, guys. You don't need to take it with you. While you're in this area, this is the hub. While you're inside this area, you will be in adventure mode, so you can't break anything. Don't try to take the emerald. You, you can't do it, I promise. I made sure that you can't take it. <laughs> Um, be kind of careful with this one, guys. Uh, I've had a few people reporting saying that the jukebox can steal your music disc, so maybe don't play your music disc here. It might have something to do with the sign being on top of it. Um, but maybe don't play your music disc here. I know I put a jukebox here, and I'm sorry, but this is a place where you can put all of the music discs you collect throughout the world. There are all 13 of them on the map. You can collect them all. But ultimately, this is not a big deal. This is kind of just a side quest if you guys want to do this. This is not your main objective. Your main objective, as far as goals, is this wall up here. The Wall of Progress. I know, I'm really good at naming things, right? <laughs> there are 64 achievements up here, guys. 64 custom achievements that I created. Um, some of them coincide with the normal vanilla achievements. You will notice that some of them are the same, like smelting to get an iron ingot, or making a wooden pickaxe, or making a wooden sword, or making a furnace. You know, There's a lot of basic achievements that you will get through Minecraft that you can get again while playing this map through a custom achievement system that I designed. And again, this is kind of a side quest thing over here, guys. This one is not super important. This one is just to track what all you obtain in the way of armor throughout your game. Back this way, we have Mr. Green's Goods. This is going to be the main store of the world. So, um, I feel like a lot of you are going to want to use this one. This guy over here is the Mini Mart. He, he got replaced recently. There used to be a, a dispenser crafter here. But I ended up putting a custom villager in. This is for the more survival nuts, I guess. The people that don't want access to the store and the money system. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine. This is why I created this guy. 
He has some uh, basic skyblock tailored trades. So, I mean, you can make charcoal. You can get feathers from chicken. You can get gold from... Uh, I, there's different ways to get gold. You guys know that. Uh, all these different items you need to get in order to trade with him. He may get an update in the future. I remember thinking that the wool was a little bit overpriced as a trade. I feel like I need to knock that one down a little bit. But ultimately, you can get a few different spawn eggs from him as well. You can get uh, diamonds from him. You can get another star. You can get a really awesome sword from him. Don't worry about this. If you guys end up getting rid of him, there's another way to get the sword on the map, I promise. But this is a really big skyblock map, guys. There's there's a huge nether. There's a there's an end store. There's there's just a lot of things to explore, and I'm very 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 excited to finally play this because I've never played it. I really haven't. I played it in small increments in my test phases in like for like a day. I've played it basically. I've never gotten to play a full run of this, and I, I'm so happy that I get to do it with you guys. So let's go ahead and get the rest of our settings on real quick. We definitely want the custom drops because that's just going to make everything more fun. Um, I am going to use the main store. That's that's what I'm going to do on this run. I know I'm going to play a different Skyblocks map in the future where we will use something more like this guy. But you guys are going to notice it's, it's an either or choice. You either get this store or you get this store. So if you push this button to unlock the store, this door will open and this guy will go bye-bye. So we push that. We now have an open doorway and the villager is gone. So <laughs> sorry about that if you guys really wanted to use both of them, but I felt like that was a little too much, a little overpowered and you had just access to too many things. So. Right here is your selling area. This is where you can sell things at the store. We have the rotten flesh, the eggs, and cobblestone. All different credits. Just stand on the pressure plate while holding the items, and you'll be able to sell them. This guy will actually tell you a lot of stuff about the things in here. You can get a guidebook from him if you want, or you can get a free apple every... I think you can get an apple once a day from him. So, free source of apples. Get them. Um... All the different things in here you can buy with the in-game in currency. If you guys see on the side of my screen, it says green bucks. That is the money you're going to be using. So all the different things are priced. I feel f they're pretty fair. I feel like they're going to present a challenge while not being just, you know, I don't want you to grind your guys' life away. That's not what this map about is about. You know, it's about having fun, but also having a challenge, so... There was a really cool teleport system behind this bookcase that I'm a little upset I had to remove, but I had a couple of reports of it just failing for people, so ultimately for the for the greater good we had to get rid of it. Please take care of Shane, guys. This is Shane. He he this is my real cat. Like I I, I, I structured blocked my real cat <laughs> um from my real survival world. And brought him in here for you guys. So this is my real cat that I've hung out with for eight months, nine months. I, I don't know. This is Shane, though. Take care of him. Be nice to him. He's a good guy. Uh, we'll just play on normal, I think, for right now. Maybe once we get a little more armor and stuff, we'll go on to hard. Because I do like the challenge, but... <sighs> I don't want y'all to yell at me. And I kind of want to challenge myself, so... We're going to turn it off. Um, but that is all your settings in here. Again, you can come back here at any time. All we got to do is drop the compass on the ground like that. And it will bring you right back here. But right now, guys, we are going to start. <laughs> oh, I'm excited, guys. Good morning. It's going to say good morning. They better say good morning. There it is. Good morning. All right, guys. Let's get to it. Straight away. You know the drill. We're going to break the tree. We're not going to waste any time. We know what's inside that chest. We designed the map. But here's the achievement system. Um, 
feel free to give me feedback on this guys if it if it's too annoying like if you guys absolutely hate the text being in your face like that let me know i might be able to change something about it but i, I feel like it was you know i i made it to where it's not going to stay in your face too long you should only see it for a few seconds and you're going to see a lot more achievements pop up at the very beginning so you're going to get quite a few of them like right away because there's a few of the basic achievements like the getting wood one or this one is earthworm so we just need to get a piece of dirt there we go um i think there's one for like an apple there's like i said 64 achievements guys you have to get every single achievement to unlock the treasure room and the treasure room has a load of get uh, of goodies in it and who knows maybe maybe we'll update the treasure room someday to make it even better we got an apple that's not an achievement is it i don't think it is all right uh hopefully we're not dropping this off the edge no we're not good so this is what's good is you guys get to start off with actually a very big sky block it's an oversized one i guess i didn't really even show you around this is going to be the uh nether block down there we got a jungle island a uh a mesa island i guess a desert island ice biome ice island i don't know the villager plains island the ocean island and a swamp i guess island dark oak island which island I, I don't really know which one you want to call that it's not so much of a swamp um and then we got the mushroom island and then if you look up you got the end island way up there so <clears throat> We have the book for the custom drops in here, and we have your guidebook again, and a little bit of food, so. And of course, Kevin, he is our chicken. All right, guys, we're gonna get set up with our cobblestone maker, cobblestone generator. Oh, do, do, do. let's put it, oh, oh, no, 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 no. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna mess up. That's like the world spawn. It's like right here. Let's move it over here. Put it off a little ways where it's not going to be in my way. But I can use it easily. Oh no! We need to make a crafting table. Alright, let's get a crafting table. And that's going to be an achievement as well. There we go. And now we need... Oh yeah, we gotta do that inside of here. Make some more of those, and a pickaxe. And let's go ahead and get the sword out of the way too. It's gonna be that. There we go. So this is why I'm saying you're gonna, you're gonna get quite a few achievements like right away. At the beginning, if you do this kind of stuff, guys, it might get a little annoying at the beginning. Don't worry about it. it it'll it'll calm down. All right, let's get this. Um, I'll break that out. All right, I know how to do this. Right, get that, get that. I always mess these up sometimes. Like, it's, I don't know, it's like a 50-50 thing. Sometimes if I'm just going too quick, I just mess them up. All right, that is right, right? <laughs> we put the lava there, it's going to work, right? 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 Ah! All right. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, sometimes I've messed up this cobblestone generator, and I'm just, like, I feel so confident about it. Like, I got this, I got this, and then the next thing I know, I got obsidian. <laughs> all right let's get some of this we're gonna probably speed this up a little bit for you guys and get some cobblestone all 
All right. Well, we broke our first pickaxe, so I think we're going to end up making a stone pickaxe now. Maybe two of them real quick. And we're going to start digging down below. And we're just going to see what we can find down here. But before we mess all this up, let's put that back because I've had issues where sometimes I dig underneath the lava and then it just becomes problematic. So, go ahead and crouch a little bit. Oh, hey, there's the chest. Music disc one. Get a lead. Item frame. Get our map. And find Charlie. Who's Charlie? <laughs> uh, I wonder how many people out there have figured out who Charlie is. If anybody has figured out who Charlie is on my map, just just comment down below and let me know you know who Charlie is. I just I need to know that you know who Charlie is. Don't tell anybody. Keep it a secret. Not trying to spoil nothing. But if you guys if you guys have found Charlie, you know who he is. Just 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 let me know. <laughs> I would love to know if anybody has actually gotten as far as finding Charlie so far. <clears throat> oh no. Alright. So we're gonna have to start making a little bit more of a floor here. I'm not totally sure if I want to make this like my house. As of right now, I think it wouldn't be a bad area to have like a little indoor room. Um, we'll see. We're gonna have to come back for these diamonds later because we do not have an iron pickaxe yet. Granted, we have iron. We do have iron now. And that is a step in the right Oh, hello. Did you just fall? <laughs> I think that thing just fell. Um... Let's make a little bit of a floor here. Oh, we can sleep. How nice. If only we had a bed. <laughs> How rude is that? Somebody telling you you can go to sleep now and you don't even have a bed? This up a little more. I think we got our torches with us, right? Yeah. Let's get some torches in here. Um, one right there. And put one. I think we're going to push this wall back a little bit. I said, I don't know how long I'll end up making this my little base area, but. It is technically my only shelter, I guess, as of right now. So we definitely want to make use of it until we have something better, at least. I think you can make a decent little room down here. Where is the cobblestone? Let's touch it there. Um, one very important thing, guys. You see the compass that is on my hotbar, right? Um, do not place anything on top of it. What that means is don't do anything like this. 
If you do that, you just lost whatever you put on top of that compass, okay? This is your teleport system, like I told you. It duplicates every time you pull it off. So you have unlimited compasses if that's your thing. <laughs> Not sure how that's going to overpower anything. But if you ever do want to delete something, you can just place it on top of the compass and it will delete it. But please be very careful, guys. I, I think I said that in the rule book a couple of times. I don't want anybody losing their stuff, okay? Let's get this kind of walled up. Make it kind of as big as we can, but kind of about at our limit here. Just want to make this a little bit bigger. Come on, place, place. Ah, place. That's so weird. Why won't I do it from that angle? It wants me to be right here. Well, I guess I don't need one right there anyway. I need one here and here, and here and here. And I need to grab this iron. So you guys will have a decent start with uh with ores. Don't don't worry about that. I don't know. Skyblocks always start you out with so little that you need a you need something to start out with, right? If you want if you want more of a just intense survival challenge, this one might not be your exact skyblock, but there are sky blocks out there if you just want literally a block in the air. <laughs> and I'm, I'm planning on making one of those, honestly. I, I I don't know why. It's just so simple. Like, I don't understand the appeal of it, but I guess I get it. It is a super survival challenge. I'm not trying to... I'm definitely not trying to crap on anybody's likes. Because <laughs> I like some weird games myself. Um, I've been kind of partial to the whole one block challenge, and I know a lot of people don't like those. But the, the one block challenge are kind of cool. I don't know why I put that one down. We need to make that bigger. There we go. Alright. That's probably good enough. We keep pushing this back all day. Oops. We're going to need to get some sort of food in here soon. Pretty sure that's where Kevin's going to come in. We're going to eat all of Kevin's babies. <laughs> Why does that sound so bad? I have not decided what island I want to go to first. Ultimately, I'm going to go to one island today. And I think it would be a cool thing to have you guys put down in the comments below every every week or whatever the next island you want me to visit. And, you know, the most comments I get for a certain island, we'll go check that one out. I think that would be a cool way to kind of do it. So, if you guys want a certain island for next week, make sure you put it down below. Um, obviously, you're kind of going to have to wait until a little bit later to see which one I actually go check out today. But, uh, let's put this over here. Put this one right here. Put this one right here. Hopefully, that's not dark enough. I think that's light enough. That looks kind of dark, though. Hopefully that's not too dark. Alright, we got a chest to start out with. Oh, where's my... Oh no! I need my crafting table. Can I reach it? Where is it? Where are you? Come down here! Uh, Alright, 
Let's just pill her up. Alright, I need you inside. Come on. Go. Oop. It's a bit of a drop. Um, put that there. We need a ladder. Well, let's get a furnace. Make a little bit of that. Get a couple of sticks. Make a ladder. Ladder there. Hot topic. We crafted a furnace, y'all. Alright, so that should be good. Feel like I need to make a little bit stronger of a roof. See, that's that's why I moved it. That would have been bad. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna put this. Ah! A little bit of a stronger roof, I guess. No! Come on! <laughs> some dirt cover that back up and no one will be the wiser and we got a little room hey so this will work ultimately I think I want to I want something outside but this will this will work for I don't know for a little bit like like I said we got to do a little bit so can you yeah okay you can cook those so let's get that smelting up. I believe there's a ticking area at this location. I don't know if those work or not when we... Let's find out. Let's go back and put in our music disc. So we got the first one. So if you guys collect these music discs, you can put them in here. We'll just go ahead and put the first one up here. There we go. Look at this, we're already getting all our achievements checked off. So this is how you're going to be able to track all your achievements, guys. If you were curious about how you would pay attention to which ones were completed or not. The green ones have been completed. The white ones still need to be completed. So, once this entire wall is green, you will be able to push this button. This button does nothing right now, but it will, I promise you. Um, yeah, you just tell us what this room is. We still don't have any armor. And we still don't have hardly any money. So, I don't think we really need to buy anything. Let's just go back. Um, you guys will notice that in this spot right here, there's going to be a piece of bedrock. You won't be able to break that or move that, but that is kind of necessary because this is the spot you always teleport back to. So make sure you make your uh, your spawn island accordingly. Make sure you never remove all of this or else you're just going to be spawning on a piece of bedrock. We will be back to the cobblestone generator. Let's see how we got... Uh, yeah, I don't know if the ticking area is working or not. I don't think there is actually one here. But either way, we should be able to make a pickaxe. Where is it? Iron pickaxe. Come on, controller. Here we go. Acquire hardware. If I remember correctly, these ones are safe to mine. Okay, good. I don't know about that one, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, no, that one's safe, too. Okay, good. Uh, just block this back up. Grab that. Grab that. There's four. There should be another one. Where's the other one? Did I only put four? I 
could have sworn I put five of them in here. There's really only four. <laughs> okay. Let's just... I'm just filling that back up, I guess. Yeah, I don't need that really out. Uh, sorry, cobblestone. Oh, we need some more fuel. We got some coal here. Um... We need a better fuel source, I'll tell you that right now. Put those in, I guess. Alright, we need to pick an island. And personally... Personally, I would like to go to the jungle island, because I know what's there. <laughs> I know what's at most of these islands. For the most part, again, giving me a bit of an advantage, but I think that the jungle island is going to give me a lot of things that I need. Mainly, the jungle wood will be a lot better source of wood rather than this oak. And we'll also be able to get bamboo, so we'll be able to have lots of sticks easier. So I'm really thinking we need to make a push for the jungle island as quick as possible. Is that it? Did we get it all? I think we got it all that time. Okay. Alright, so we're going to get some cobblestone here, and then we will go over to the island. All right, hopefully we have enough cobblestone to get over to the jungle island. Oh, diamond stuff. Diamond stuff, guys. Uh, I think we're going to save the diamonds, honestly. Let's um let's go ahead and put some stuff away. Mm -mm. Um Oh, we're gonna need more chests. Let's go ahead and make another chest or two. Three stacks should be more than enough. And let's go. a little bit of a tip for you guys you should always try to make your uh, bridges with bottom slabs like this so that way you never have to light up your pathways nothing can spawn on a bottom slab like this so you won't need any torches you won't need anything keeping things from spawning make our way out here Excited to go inside the nether, guys, already. I spent so much time working on the nether. But ultimately, this entire map took me between three to four months to put together. Before I put out the first release, and then we had a little bit of a, a couple of updates after that which came in a couple of weeks, so. I spent a lot of time working on this, guys, and I'm very happy with it. Pandas! Hello, panda. Um, I think we're just gonna jump down there. Just make our little staircase. Hello, panda. How are you today? Oh, oh, oh. Come on. No! There. And then there. Oh, now I gotta break these. Break this. There we go. That'll work. 
Hello, sir. How are you? Got some melons. We got some cobwebs, so we can finally make a bed if we get enough string, maybe? Oof. Oh, silk touch would have been nice, huh? Oh, silk touch would have been nice. Darn it. And you can't shear those either, can you? Can you shear those? Oh, it's too late now. Oh! Forgot about that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, there went our pressure plate. A little bit of redstone engineering here. So you get some free free redstone stuff. Ah! Oh, it fired when I took... <laughs> oh, that thing's evil. That's great. I mean, you make a trap hoping that it'll work, and then it works. And then you don't know what to hope for. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff, guys. So, we're going to get lots of pods all. Let's see. Let's stack these up a little bit. I think we can fit everything in. Uh-oh. We can leave this stuff, though. Don't really need those. Yeah, I'll have to keep those. Um, yeah, that works. We really need that chest, though. We'll come back for it. Hello, panda. We do not want to take all the bamboo. Because, yeah. If we take all the bamboo and then something happens to our bamboo... We have no more bamboo. I wonder if I can actually finally get that achievement. Hey, will you guys breed? Why won't you guys breed? Make a baby panda. Make a baby panda. <gasps> I got an achievement! <laughs> Alright. Cool. I've been needing that achievement for a while, guys. I've never bred pandas before. Because they're stubborn little bastards. Alright. <laughs> that made me excited. I got an achievement. Alright, let's go back. And there's probably bad things over here. Oh, God dang it. What do we do? What do we do, guys? Oh, uh, if they knock me off, do you know how sad I'll be? I have so much stuff on me right now. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go back. No, 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 no. Don't see me. 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 Yes. All right. Sweet. You know, get out. No, no, no. Oh. You big bully, you jerk, you and your friends, y'all just mean, just mean, 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 mean people. See how you like it. <sighs> Guys. Not a good start. Not, not, not a good start at all. Ah. <sighs>
We lost the music disc. We lost the music disc. There's there's no way to finish the music disc thing anymore. I'm upset. <laughs> no. <laughs> Guys, we were doing so good. We were we were oh my goodness. I should have just hit them. I should have just tried to kill them instead of try. <sighs> All right, that's not the end of the world. But we have some work to do. <laughs> no. Guys. Oh. All right. I need a pair of shears anyway. I'm going to get them. Oh, we lost our pigs and our parrots. We lost our redstone stuff, guys. We lost so much. <laughs> We're going to have to get so much back. Again, it's not the end of the world because we can get all of it back. That's why we have the store. We have... Then... It's not the end of the world. It just means we have more work to do. All right. Let's do some of that work then, shall we? I'm sorry. Excuse me. What? <laughs> Guys, there's a drowned. <laughs> there's a drowned in <laughs> Apple Stone generator. <laughs> what is this nonsense? What are you doing in there, buddy? <laughs> what the heck? A zombie must have fell in there. Don't be shellfish. Yeah, we found an out of the shell, but we lost so much more. All right, so since we made such a big mistake, we, we have got to make up for it, guys. Um, I'm still upset about that. <laughs> I thought I'd be okay after a few minutes, but <laughs> oh, guys, I'm upset. All right, so let's chuck that in there. We are going to make a push for the villager island, I believe, because I'm upset and I need I need something to make me feel a little bit better, I feel like. So, let's take a couple of these those back. And we'll put one of you here. One of you here. Uh all right. So we're gonna we're gonna go over for this island. We're gonna <laughs> we're not gonna mess up again. Hopefully, we're gonna we're gonna put down some light. So that hopefully nothing will spawn here. There we go. And there. All right. Okay, so we got... We should probably make a sword. We don't need a sword, that's right. We need... Yeah, we don't need a sword. We're going to need a pickaxe, though. But again, I know what is at this island, guys, so I kind of know what to expect, and you guys will not. Alrighty. So disappointed, guys. I, I really enjoyed doing redstone stuff, so losing all that redstone supplies and... 
the hoppers and yeah. I'm a little upset. I, I don't really care that much about the pigs and parrots. I mean, it would have been nice to have a pet parrot. And the pig would have been good for some pork chop, but ultimately pigs are not, you know, pigs are not necessary. So I'm glad it wasn't like the sheep spawn eggs or anything like that. But again, guys, we, we have a store, so all of this stuff can be replaced when we lose it. it just takes a little extra work. We'll get out here and we got a oh hey we got donkeys that's interesting I did not put the donkeys there but I did put the green sheep there <laughs> the donkeys must have just spawned all right so the beehive is ready to be sheared but we don't have a campfire We can't really shear that without getting beat up by bees. Um, excuse me. Oh, 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 Mr. Sheep, don't go over there. All right, we got some crops. And there is Larry. All right, we'll just leave that there. Shear these, right? Awesome. Cool. Pick up a little bit of flowers. Um, let's do this the cheaty way. Oh no, did I never make my pickaxe? Guys, who didn't who didn't tell me to make my pickaxe? Alright. I made a sword, but not a pickaxe, okay. Alright, so over here is Larry. You gotta be careful because Larry is very strong. Larry is a zombie. But if you guys are smart about this, you can save Larry. All right. You get one chance, though. Don't mess it up. All right, buddy. Come on. There we go. All right, so Larry's getting cured, which is going to give us a villager. I'm excited about that. Hey. Hey. Hey, Mr. Donkey. Um, we can get this. Go ahead and pick up our crafting table. I'm not too worried about getting the birch wood, so I think we're just going to leave this here for now. Because, again, we need to have a campfire to get that. Oh, hey, 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 Larry. Easy, bro. All right. So if you do mess it up, though, you get villager spawn eggs for free. Two cows, a diamond, we got some ender pearls. Uh, that's just, mm, yeah. Hey, we got some, some gear. And spruce. All right, well, we'll just leave some of this stuff in here. Hey, Larry, can you please get fixed? Put that on. Put that on. Now we have some gear. We're not naked. Hey, Larry. How you feeling, buddy? You feeling better? Feeling feeling cured? What do you what do you want to trade? What do you want to do? Whoa! 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 Wait, 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 wait! 
Did did we did we just cure Larry to make him more expensive, or is that eighteen marked down to twelve? It looks like ten marked down to twelve. Am I the only one seeing this right now? <laughs> oh, but we can buy shears from him, and he wants black dye. Ooh, black dye might not actually be bad if we could get over to the ocean and get some squids. Maybe. We will have to see. Um, ultimately, I think I want to re-roll him. I don't, I don't really like this guy. I don't think I'm going to trade with him until I have a better understanding of what I want to do with him. Grab some more wool. Now we can make our bed. Um, but yeah, Larry, Larry's not going anywhere. So Larry, you just, you just stay here. You're safe here. Um, no zombies can get in. Just put back your, uh... Yeah, you're safe, man. <clears throat> so, let's block you up even better. Um, whoa. More pumpkins. See, this is why we don't need to take the stem. Let it keep growing over here. Hey, thank you some more. I wish you would come over here with me. You have, oh, I have wheat. Do you want to follow me back home, bro? Like, will you fall into the void if I do this? Hey, can you follow me? Are you talented enough to follow me? Oh, look at that sheep. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Let's go. It's almost nighttime. We need to get back before it's dark. Oh my goodness, there's a sheep on my island. Are you kidding me? Are you Mr. Sheep? Hey. Why are you stopping? Hurry up, bad things are going to spawn. Let's go, sheep. Um. 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 <laughs> I don't really know what to do with them. Let me, let me get a lead. I guess I could keep one of them on a lead. Um, more unorganization. Let's just put all this nonsense away so it's safe. All right, we shouldn't need wool for too much. Um, I think it's really just beds. You can't sell wool on this one. Did I just use all my wood? I did. Let's get a tree cut down and then we can sleep. I have a Nautilus shell in my offhand. <laughs> I just noticed that. How long has that been there? I've been carrying this around. <clears throat> Put that up there. Um, let's make our bed. Oh, we need the wool. Come here, wool. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> All right, we need one, two, three. Make that. Make that. And we can sleep, guys. Um, I see a wandering trader. <laughs> hey, dude, what's up? What are you doing? Just putting a leash right through my house? Or is that my sheep? Is that my sheep? Oh, that's my sheep. What are you doing? Did, did you fall off? <laughs> what are you doing, sheep? 
He fell. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Oh, I don't know if we can get him back in. He fell. There you go. <laughs> oh, he just wanted to come hang out with me, I guess. I guess you can stay in here, man. You're not going to really be able to produce wool down here, though. Until we get some grass. Where's your lead at? Did it drop down here? Okay. Uh, So I guess we got silk touch, though, right? So I could bring you some grass down here. Let's... Try it. Alright, so we're going to definitely want to block some of this off, though, because otherwise he's going to want to eat it all. Break that. Break that, break that, and then do something kind of interesting here that should work. Hey, stay away from that. You move. There. Alright, so that should be able to spread from there, but he shouldn't be able to eat this one. I'm hoping, so... Should be able to eat these three to get his stuff. We'll see. We'll check back on him with him periodically. Eat the grass. It's delicious. See? I told you it's delicious. Alright, back over to... Silent for a second. Make sure we got everything out of here. So we can now go into the villager island if we want to. Oh, hello. Did did two traders just spawn? Guys, two traders just spawned. <laughs> He's got a knife. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot the wandering trader. The wandering trader has a shank now. <laughs> what do you got, dude? What do you got? Nothing. Nothing worth the darn for me. Let's see if you get a diamond. Uh oh. Hey, stay away from that edge. No. No. Ah. Oh well. We lost it, guys. All right, you stay inside. Emeralds. And is that it? Oh, what is this? You scoot over. I'm trying to get things. <laughs> Is that silk touch? Okay, cool. Um, an empty book? Is that it? Is that all I put in here? Is that it? I don't see anything else. Move. Move, Larry. I want the armor stand. There you go. Alright, uh, open the door. Let's go. Alright, you stay here, Larry. Haha, layered in leather. Look at that, guys. We got the full leather outfit. So that's all you got to do to get that achievement. Which, again, that's not really like a necessary achievement. That's more of a side quest kind of thing. Just, just to kind of be able to track what kind of armor you use throughout the game. And I think that's all we need there. Awesome. So, other than the first little mishap, guys, I'm not 
<laughs> I guess I'm upset. But I, I'm I'm doing pretty good, I feel like. It's it's always a slow start with Skyblox. Like you feel like you haven't done much your first day, but ultimately you have. Like you really like we've gotten quite a bit. Where are my other diamonds at? Did I put them back here? There we go. Okay. So we have five diamonds now. Which means we can make a pickaxe and a sword. But ultimately, I want to save the diamonds. I want to save some more stuff. We can use iron for a little while and uh, see how far that can get us, honestly. So let's do a little bit of a uh, cobblestone mining session. Stop going up and down the thing. Where is our iron? Iron, iron, iron. Here we go. Let's get out that. Go over here. Get one of those. And we'll just mine this up until it breaks and then go see what kind of money we can get real quick. I tried to use my fist there for a minute. I don't think that's gonna work too well. All right, let's uh let's go back over to the hub and see what all we can get. We gotta put up this music disc too, even though we can't finish them. Uh, I'm upset about that. But look at that! Look at all this green showing up, guys. After the first day already. Music disc two, three, four, five, six. So this would be six, that's one. We lost one of them, I don't know which one it was. I feel like one of the hardest challenges on this entire challenge board is probably gonna be this nether star. Cause ultimately we have to either fight the wither to get the nether star. Or, <clears throat> Seventy five thousand. <laughs> Good grief, guys. The nether star is not cheap. Um, how long do you guys want to mine, mine cobblestone for? All right, so we got what, three stacks of cobblestone here. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and give it a sell. See what we can get here. 225. I feel like I was ripped off. Ultimately, don't know if there's anything I need to buy right this second. I think we're kind of set. I think my first thing is I'm going to need to do a lot of mining for the cobblestone and you know just trying to get a little bit more money and a little bit more of the basic stuff done before I can do the next episode for you guys but I feel like we got a pretty good start today right and would you agree I would that's good <laughs> alright we got a tree so, yeah, pretty disappointed about the jungle island, but we did manage to kind of save it with the villager island over here. But, again, we will come back and work more on this in a few days. So, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you like down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications to make sure you get notified of future content. And if you guys would like to play this map, I will have a link for it down below in the description. And you can also check out all of my maps at mcpedl.com. And you guys are more than welcome to play all of them anytime. They're all free and available to you on the website. So, again, guys, my name is Mr. Green. And until next time, y'all have an amazing day and happy building.